this one kind of gets chewed up a bit, so be it, right? But I want somewhere, I need to lead in, so that I got a nice lead in on the thread, but also I need room to escape. I can't, I'm not a machine, I can't just come out at the very end of the thread each time. Yeah. So what we do is we put a groove or a radius groove or something that I can escape into, right? So I've taken it to exactly an inch, Generally, off the cuff, if you're feeding into a piece of material, a good start point is 7th alpha revolution. Most lathes will have a 7th alpha per rev, or you know, 6th alpha. But 7 tends to make a reasonable good starting point chip. So every time this chuck revolves once, the tool is going to advance 100 down. Right? Okay. So, to give you an idea, I'll show you here. I'll set it up to do it. So we're gonna cut 10 threads per inch. So I gotta go into course, right? Because it tells you right here, okay, course, 10 threads per inch, right? And it's in C, right? And I've gotta line up this here. So now we're at 10 threads per inch. And it, note to self, slow. Always, always run it slow. This, in this case, it's 65 revolutions per minute. And even that. Advances relatively quickly, but it still gives me a bit of an opportunity to disengage it. We've gone through the box, and how to set the gearbox, right? Uh, we've gone through the speed, low. We want it revolving slowly, because it's not going to be easy to, to stop it. It's, it's going to be moving too fast for us, mm. unless you're Superman. Uh, and we're going to use this for our, our coolant, or our lubrication, to help aid in cutting. Great. So, we're at a point right now where we can cut a thread. So, start it up. I'm already set at zero here. I move it forward a little bit. That way I know I'm moving in the positive direction. Kind of like a final, okay, check. Is this going to be right or not? So bring it up. And you look at the three threads, threads that I've got. And the three lines. And they're smack on. So I know that they're going to, they're going to work. I'm good. Everything's at zero. Now, it's nice and slow. I'm bringing it up. I'm going to put a little bit of the, uh, this on it, just because it won't hurt it, that's for sure. So I'm going to take a 10 thou cut first, line it in, wait for my number to come around. Remembering that I can start on any one, but lucky me, one's there, so... Okay. So, if I had a real crazy shot,
shoulder out here, I may have to be two-handed, right? So that I get out quick enough. But because I've given myself that escape, it gives me somewhere for the tool to go and not have to worry about hitting anything. And I can leisurely, if you will, move the uh, move the tool out, line it back to the start, and bring it back to zero. Because I'm on zero, I know that I'm right at my start point. Right? Once again, I move in. That's the size that I'm shooting for. And this time I'm on three, so but it still engages the split nut correctly. You know, right away if the split nut's not right because or something's not right, because you'll end up with kind of like a double or messy looking thread. That's how the nuts should fit. 